Ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is it. I can do a toolbox tour. Let's get to it. At least uh, let's get a part one going. Let's go. All right, here it is. My Challenger lift here, my stall. This is my setup. I wanna do a part one as a setup. How I have it all set up, how I like my flow going. And then uh, maybe like a part two, getting in the nitty gritty of the boxes. Maybe a part three if it gets too long, but uh, yeah, let's get, let's get on and do it. Let's get going. Now, here we have bench space. Bench space and somewhat bench space with uh, carts and stuff. Maybe get another bench over here. I love bench space. I do not like hutches. Those are kind of flush to the wall, so they're out of the way. I like to have bench space for teardowns. So that's one good thing that I like having the flow going in, tearing down stuff at, at the waist level so you don't be bending over on the ground, piling stuff on the ground when you tear stuff apart. That's how I like it. Would like to have more carts like this. this these are perfect for batteries and stuff and uh, just slamming batteries on here, doing battery service. This is the diagnostic cart. Has a nice charger for BMWs. We have our ISTA and everything. That's the cart for the blue box. If you don't know the blue box, that is for BMWs. Awesome. We do Mercedes and Volkswagens and other stuff too, but for BMWs, that thing is super fast. Got an oil barrel here. And um, that's just the engine from the 2002 I was working on. I wanna get that thing out of the way. Get out of my life. <laughs> So here's the one bench device, my main teardown bench. I can just slam stuff on it. I don't have to worry about scratching it and everything. I got my step stool there, brake leader, my roll around chair, and um, yeah, the big wipes and my lights. These are nice lights for the winter time. They warm you up, and I can also use that when I'm facing up underneath the car and uh, doing that that way and um, not being so hot. And these are all our parts and stuff and fluids. And um, let's get going to my cart. I'll throw the cart into my first intro here. Here's the new Milwaukee Impact. Haven't used it yet. Need to get some cars in the shop to use it. So stay tuned on that. Uh, I have my uni lights right here. These are my, this is my main go-to of a uni light. I'm starting to use this one a little bit more. So this cart is basically set up as my test cart. I wanna put my my test tools on here, the ones I grab the most so I can get use out of it, so I can get you guys more reviews and feedback on it over time. It takes a little bit because I, I wanna get to these first, to show you first, and get them in use. And uh, this is my main go-to stuff. Um, sockets too, these are the stubby sockets. I have it all ready for stubbies. These are the stubby Veras. Um, for the Vera ratchet, um, get onto the ratchet later on. Uh, you can see it on my Instagram, it's a pretty cool ratchet. It has a quarter inch and then the ratchet is flush onto this, pretty cool. And these are all 17s, I believe. This is Astro Stubby's 17 millimeter wrench on this and then three eighths on the back. Stubby Impact, awesome set to have. So I have my main used ones right here. This is a Carlisle. Um, holder here. I put some 3 8 and mixed some quarter inches in there too. These are my Sun X main go-to's right here. 8, 10. Here's a Mac Tools 10 and a set of my most used S&Ks. 8, 10, 13, and a 13 S&K impact, 15 and a 16 gear wrench for my drain plugs and some regular Vera's right here, quarter inch. And these are three eighths right here on a Carlisle holder. And we have my new Vihas. These things are heavy duty, man. These things are striking cap. They got some weight to them. I am using the gear wrench mostly. These are good for oil changes. Awesome. This I use for the filter on top. This is where I keep my filter wrench adapters here. My mostly used ones here. This is a Harbor Freight tray. I screwed onto the back. Nice little magnets here hold the bungee cords. And I keep my rover down here. I use it for interior work. And this, this is awesome to have this uh, night ease uh, little uh, rope here so I can form it to anywhere I want. That's a Harbor Freight uh, step stool there. Um, 
Not much back here. Harbor Freight glove holder. And yeah, it used this to screw it in. This is the, the holder here for this XL cart. Yeah, by the way, this is an XL cart. You cannot find these anymore. You don't sell them on uh, Amazon anymore. Uh, I did remove the door so I can have access to gloves there. Um, on with what I was going on, but here we have the PB Swiss. These are awesome. They're super thick on the end, so you can get the thick plugs on um, on the coolant stuff and trim stuff. Nice nubby end there, so you don't damage anything. Yeah. So these Gear Ranch, man, they're awesome. First time I've used the mostly the soft grip the most, and I'm loving it for oil changes. This is for drain plugs. Just super easy to grab when your hands are all oily and all that stuff awesome to have a gear wrench 90 tooth line definitely loving it so far uh have this um for hood props to clamp down on on batch hood shocks hood's always going to fall on, on bmws all the time and for drain plugs i have a 13 and a 17 and sometimes i need an extension for a drain plug this is for another oil filter this is a power power built this thing i've taken axle nuts off with and took the chrome off a lot <laughs> uh, this is this thing's got some use to it so uh yeah you're not supposed to use an impact on it and see the chrome is dangerous and starts chipping away that's why you don't use impact on it but uh in the past i've used it but now i just use it for uh, oil filter caps plastic oil filter caps to change the oil filter out um got the uh, capri long wrenches here at reach i'm still testing these out very nice nice mirror polish on them super nice to have these offset zero offsets nice set this is the capri ratcheting wrenches no issues so far just on one the teeth are kind of oh no not the teeth the switch kind of gets stuck on one of these other than that no issues on that um trying to get use out of this vera um adjustable 13 to 10 millimeter fast wrench this thing's pretty cool in certain situations. I have this handy here just so I can grab that first for any reason, but they are mainly used for just, just like small situations as a mechanic. This is mainly just for fast wrenching on if you got that size or the other sizes that they have, just speed wrenching. And uh, it does clamp on pretty good so far. I'm liking it, but yeah, just not much use out of it. Just gotta use it for, for those uh, tight situations. I'm switching over to the Hazette quarter inch for now. I want to get some use out of this and maybe loosen it up. It's a little tight. It's the Hyper HP 863 HP the fine tooth. I want to loosen it up a little bit. It's kind of tight, but I love it. It's nice, nice and tiny here. Nice little soft handle on there. The rest of my Capri wrenches down there. And I'm trying to use these on line wrenches, or on lines to get use out of this, but it, they are kind of nipping at the uh the uh, fittings and not really they're kind of chewing some stuff up it's pretty cool this is the new uh 603 wrench with the multi-position it's basically a 12 point on the end of the wrench so uh and it's got almost a zero just slightly off almost like a zero uh, degree on it 15. so it's basically a 12 point on the end of a regular wrench that's pretty much all i have in there this boulder light is still my go-to anchor boulder. It's got the longest battery life I've ever had on a flashlight. This thing, it's insane. It uh, has memory on it. Keep it on the low setting. That's all I need. And this thing just lasts for months. I don't, I don't even remember the last time I charged this thing. It's insane. I have my wee -ah bits. These are nice. I always have to color the, I need to just get on them about the color of this. I always get the 10 and the eight confused. So I always color the eight. So I know it's an eight in here. I always just throw them in here. because I grab this all the time, back and forth all the time. Just, I grab this, put these bits on it, put the, these on there and just, this is my throw in bin. Just my tool start piling up here. So I keep this area clean, clear. Um, yeah, here's the Capri air tool. So I'm for my stubby comparison videos and I have this handy so I can compare. This is the 415 foot pounds and this is 220. So air still got double the power, but we're gonna find out how good and handy the M12 is later on. Got my mirror here handy. 
and um, yeah, this guy I go to all the time. It used to be here, but I put my long neck here now. My long neck, I only use quarter inch. I don't have no need for the three eighths. I still love the old three eighths and the quarter inch. I still use the old ones. Freaking had these things for years, man. They're awesome. Oh, super awesome. Even still buying them brand new now these days. Just, just get that one first. If you're going in the line, definitely get that one. Here's my screw gun. I wish they made this one smaller. Other than that, this thing is nice to have. Doing spark plugs and stuff, so you don't strip them out. You just, uh, oh, the, the chuck on this thing is awesome. The chuck ejects everything out. Here's my Ulsa Tools holder here. One-handed, ejects it out every time. One-handed, just love this thing. Awesome, awesome gun to have. And my Ulsa Tools, all my holders here. Here's a Vim. Sorry, I'm going all the way around. These are just um, the older guns I had. This is the older X and the older 3 8 And we saw all that. That's the glove holder. And the gun here I use with this Vim Tool 3 8 adapter for spark plugs. So you put a 3 8 on there and put a spark plug socket on there. And you can slowly go in without stripping spark plug and not having to lose your spark plug um, socket and, it, and the extension, everything in there, all locked in. Love that. Next to it, we have the Sunix flip socket on BMWs, eights and tens. You're gonna get you on those those uh, engine covers. So you're gonna have eight on one side, ten on the other. Flip it, flip it, and it's, yeah, it's I hate how they mix that. And these are just regular three eighths right here. Is an S and K quarter inch locking. I don't know what that is it's just a regular t20 i just wanted a shorter one these are the vim tools um two and a half inch three inches yeah s2 steel these things have been awesome i uh, switched from the vera to these for now to see how good they are they are awesome so far no wear on them especially the t30 awesome these are the the veras back here they're starting to rust a little bit but uh, they, they're a little shorter. These are nice. They don't strip out. They, they're they nice and stubby at the end, so they don't uh, strip out. These are the Koken 113s, 113 UN. And this is also 13, this is 113 UN. If you look up 113 UN on Koken, you'll find these. This is a 13, this is a 10 impacts. These are nice, these are super nice. So this is locked on the gun right here. This is all locked on a ball swivel. Very awesome. These are cool. They're super expensive, but well worth their money in gold. <laughs> and the longer S and K here, you gotta have this set. There's this and that one and that one. Locking set, awesome to have. A Phillips here, this is a Harpoon Phillips from Vera. I believe, yeah, Vera. Harpoon, you can get in super tight places and get a Phillips out. That is cool. Um, this Ulsa tool holder is awesome. It is just stayed on here, it's never fallen off. Um, super nice to have here. Uh, this is a snap-on, just magnetic adapter here. Um, another Weha 11, use those for intake, bolts, nuts. Another Koken 8, I believe, right here, a little shorty. Uh, just a magnetic long 10 here, and a Dewalt extension here. And this one I custom made, it's a end of a ball end of a S and K. I needed the ball end, but did not have the hex on the end, so I just grinded it out. It's a nice locking hex. I have the engine covers to remove, and that gets in nice tight places right there. Behind that, we have the rigid 3 8 Still working on that with my stubbies. And yep, yeah, I have the 3.0 on it sticks out way too far. I'm waiting for getting a slim pack 2.0 for it, which will work out perfect. And right there is my 3.8 stubby. So part of my stubbies here, so I can get them nice and handy and compare them all for you guys. And yep, yeah, went over the whole outside right here. Yeah, stubby has 220, oh no, 250, and this is 220. Um, breakaway 250 breakaway 220 breakaway 220 breakaway and this is 400 uh, 415 actually yeah 
Yeah, this is a no longer available product handlers made in USA. Producthandlers.com doesn't exist. Uh, it was just a can holder with a screwdriver holder on the end, or no, this is like a water bottle holder actually. Yeah, so can and water bottle holder, and I custom cut it out so these guns will fit. A little pad right there, screwed it right in. Pretty cool. Made the hole for it for the long neck. Made a hole for it for these other ones. Custom fit. Sanded it all just nicely so they all fit nice without damage or anything. So far, holding up good. Find yourself a can holder, gouge them out, and there you go. You have a nice gun holster. And this had a door, so I removed the door. Just painted the box for the rags, the rag bin right here. And miscellaneous ratchets in here. Got a Weeha, an old Craftsman, uh, Capri, just a Pittsburgh pick here. Kind of like my junk drawer here, but um, here I use the, the Philo Smart. This thing's cool. Turns into a T-handle and has a magnetic uh, nut driver on the end. I use these to take uh, covers off for brake jobs and the cowling of the BMWs. And if it gets a tight spot, I just take that out, put a longer one in. Or it's, it's just nice and handy to have right there. Got a General Tools magnet, uh, wobble plus extension from Snap-on, and a Snap-on extension, a Weeha extension. Got the nice soft matte finish on that. Quarter inch Craftsman there, another Wobble Plus, a gear wrench locking, another Wobble Plus here. Uh, this is a GM Performance Parts extension here. I have uh, some Milwaukee sockets here just in case, just a 13 and a 10. It's a square drive on it. Don't really like the fit on these, on the, my, uh, um, my ratchets. They don't fit quite well. But uh, eh, I don't know. I just don't know about these. Yeah, I'm still not sure about those. I don't kind of quite like them. The ratchets are okay. Milwaukee ratchets, are fine. Um, the rotary one's nice. The three eighths rotary is really nice. Here's an easy red quarter inch on one side, quarter inch on the other. Locking flex. They do not lock all the way, but it is nice to have. In a tight situation right here. Some random Allens, some old Craftsman USA here, uh, another for power torque right here, 10, in case I lose a 10. Just some random sockets, eight there, and yeah, more random Craftsman sockets back there. Allens, uh, I need to organize this area. Some USA Craftsman wrenches here. Just my toss-in drawer, there's another toss-in drawer. Handy to have this if my cart's on the other side of the shop. I don't need to grab all the wrenches, just grab this Knip X. This thing is awesome. I don't have much rust problems over here, so I got this version of it. A snap on screwdriver, a plateau nipper, some more miscellaneous bits, some Irwin bits. And yeah, I think this is another SK bit that I custom made. Brushes, these things are junk. These, I broke half of this set. Uh, these things, I just have them here. Just for the heck of it, threw them here. Got a magnet. Um, for battery service. Trying to get these, use, use out of these. These are handy for tight situations. I, I've been finding lately. Um, just don't have too much use for these. So I know you guys have been uh, asking about these, but as a mechanic wise these are awesome especially this dewalt you can put a bit in there and it holds the screw so the bit will be more in depth in there and it holds the screw in a tight situation so you don't drop the screw i love that about this it gets the stuff out pretty fast i need to get more use out of these actually and I have a mirror here some scrubbing pads another cobra down there as a backup Another mirror here to check brakes. And oh, that's the magnetic handle. And that concludes my cart. Whew. Just added this recently so I could put wrenches on it. Pretty heavy. It's put a lot of chaos on the casters. May have to get new casters later on. Yeah, it's a one of a kind cart here practically. <laughs>
yeah and that concludes that next up we have the setup here have my creeper the pedal depressor clamps the gear wrench uh, hood light not too fond of the battery life on this it's been uh, quite low and it takes all day to charge too i've been going back to the milwaukee lately because all you got to do is switch a battery out Milwaukee's been fine. It just sticks out a lot. That's the only problem with the Milwaukee. Got my AWPHP pad there. Got the neck lights. These are awesome. Uh, this is a Omen Devices rechargeable light. So this is the rechargeable version. It's pretty nice. And um, uni light over here. This is the color one. Um, I have another one over here. Just a regular thousand lumen one. And I have another round one right here, handy when I need it. Has a spot beam in the middle, which is nice. And then two settings on the outer area, flood light area, it's pretty nice. Got the Capri right here. This one's good for um, UV. It's got a nice bright UV stick on it. That's what I like about that one. Got another uni light over here, nice little mini one. It's uh, rechargeable. Got the gear wrench, also rechargeable USB-C. This is micro USB and the, yeah, the gear wrench is USB-C. And uh, this is a restaurant shelf right here, which is nice. You can just put your repair orders and your keys right here, just like a restaurant. I love this setup. Just have it in your face. So you can see what you have next. Got the uni light. That thing is awesome. Has a super strong magnet on it. Crazy strong magnet. That thing is super bright. I think it's like a 1200 lumen light. Um, all my fluids up there, my clock, a temperature reading, a uh, hat light here from Everbright. This thing is super cool. Nice and it's rechargeable. And my earplugs, the socket strap. Uh, still got to get more use out of that. Do more testing on it. Got my test rigs up there. I have some screws in there for testing. That's pretty cool. And my 3M hutches up here. These are cool from a paint shop. I got these killer deal. I think I got them for like 40 bucks, all three. And I just recently wrapped this one in yellow so I can uh, get the German theme going on here, which is nice. And then I carbon fibered out this one, which was white before. So now got a nice little co color combo there. My hose reel, got a fan up there. My brick cart. This is where I use the fuel for the heavy duty stuff. Got my channel locks, brakes, another Weeha micro finish, nice heavy duty screwdriver. Got my Pittsburgh uh, ratchet here, just, just tossed it here, has a spare. Got another Mac Tools ratchet down there. My Wild, Wildy pry bar here, and the new Wera 17 here. This thing's been slipping on me. It was tight at first, but now it's all slipping. Pretty, pretty thick uh, socket so far, but it is protective, so it's nice about that's what's nice about that. Some S and K sockets here, so this is all set up for brakes. Some uh, Craftsman USA, Cobalt, uh, Mac tools there, just miscellaneous. This is the Husky 17 and the Flex Zone S and K. That thing's been pretty cool. The wear on it is super nice so far. That's your wear right there on it and magnetic tray my anti sees that spreads all over the place and this is a mac I believe it's a mac yeah pry bar yep and my rigid octane high torque and the sick dewalt that's sick right now because he's only going in full blast <laughs> so i gotta get more use out of this one so stay tuned on this one so far it's been great Super fast, super smooth, not all chattery like the DeWalt. Um, got a, just a hub shark right here set. And my rag bin, a sledgehammer, the freak right here, half inch, and it's got the bit holder on the end, which is kind of cool. Got my half inch stubby here. And there's an old, old video of me putting these in and making these. So that's it, just a magnet down there. Pretty cool, just screwed them in. PVC pipe. 
actually there's the PVC pipe right there. This is the oil pump, the MyVac, all, all the oil here. And my air chuck and the gripty mats. I hang this one right here. This is the small one. Super nice to have, handy. The bolster in a gripty mat. These are cool. If you're doing a tear down job on a unfamiliar job and you put the screws in the right order, hold them all in, washable, fireproof, everything. These are all fireproof up to 500 degrees, I think. Nice compartment trays to keep you organized on, especially on fresh new jobs that you don't know what you're doing. Keep it all organized. My chargers, my phone charger. This is all I have for charging ports here to charge stuff with. I gotta figure out something with this. Um, my Milwaukee drink mat <laughs> with my gear wrench, Bluetooth uh, speaker here, tinker mat, tinkermat.com. These are awesome. This is like the weather guard uh, trunk liners in the back of uh, SUVs. So it's kind of tough plastic like that. Cup holders, plenty of places to put stuff. My pocket pry bar. Wish this light had a better battery life on it, but the true view is nice. Love the true view on that. My work pro stool and my chip foose. Mac tools one back there. I have nowhere to put this stuff, so I have a double stool set up here. And I carbon fibered out the Mac Tools logo on this one. The stainless steel top is the same one right here. So just order the next one, bridge them together with an L bracket. And then the L bracket is now connected to a pipe here to add on the maximizer drawer set up here. Check out my video on it. Just put these caps on right now, just before this video. Looking sweet. Check that out. It's like a workstation now. Pretty cool. Have my pens and pencils there. Very nice. I'll set up plenty of space to sit down in there still. Love it. That's the switch for the heater. And um, stainless steel top for this one's nice. And yeah, my carbon fiber out uh, badges on the tech drawer on this one. Power drawer. And um, that's it guys part two will be the inside of uh, my box so check that out in part two hope i can get to it i still got a half hour left maybe i can get to it all and stay tuned for the next video in part two thanks for watching this is my setup love it love bench space gotta have your bench space i do not like hutches it's the way it is drive in tear apart nice and open Boom, cart's done, cart done. Just have that, I'll probably make this a part two for these two boxes. Thanks for watching guys, and on to the next.